opinions without any proof Which news story is telling the truth If you've got questions and Google can cut it It's time for Fire 2 Answer the public Huh, it's called a fret Oh hi, didn't see you there Welcome to Fire Answers the Public, the show where I answer the most Googled questions about the music industry using facts, stats, and hats. So without further ado, let's see what's got the internet all up in a flurry today, huh? Hmm. Is it true? Is Rock dead? Gene Simmons thinks so, and he's the most respected musician there is. I'm gonna have to do some research. I've done the research and I'm ready to break it down for you. Guys, to the classroom. Now, let's start with touring by having a look at the top 10 highest grossing tours of 2019. I was gonna look at 2020 tours, but for some bizarre reason, none took place. I don't know why. Look at the act. 40% of those artists are definitively rock, with Kiss verging on metal, and Metallica. Ah, oh, Metallica. <laughs> being indisputably metal. And I'm being conservative with this list. Pink, Elton John, and Bob Seger are on it, and they all have a big rock influence within their sound. In fact, the only person on this list that is categorically not rock is Travis Scott. I'm not saying that Justin Timberlake and Ed Sheeran are rock, they're not, but they have dabbled and they do use guitars, which is the instrument most associated with rock and metal music. And speaking of guitars, let's see how they're selling, shall we? According to the National Association of Music Merchants' most recently available reports, the guitar is by far the most popular instrument, and it dominates in terms of retail market value. In 2020, Fender, you know, the most famous instrument brand ever, reported its highest guitar sales in years. And I know, we were in lockdown and dads the world over needed something to do in between painting the skirting board and falling asleep watching Goldfinger every night. But even before that, music trades editor Paul Majeski states that in dollar terms, guitar sales have grown steadily since the Great Recession of 2009, and that's not included in second-hand sales. And it still leads the way in education. Just one Google search shows that guitar lessons top the list and are growing year on year. But far, I hear you say, what about music sales, streaming, and rock's overall impact on pop culture? Yeah, 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 I hear you, and the stats don't lie. The biggest selling and most streamed artists are pop stars. With K-pop juggernauts, BTS being right at the top of the pile with their insanely catchy hooks and just beautiful hair. But guys, let's look a little deeper. Young Blood is a goth kid who clearly loves heavy music. Ah, while his own production is sugary and sweet, his image and graphic lyrics are serving as a gateway into our genre for young music fans eager to dip their toe into the exciting world of headbanging and self-loathing. Machine Gun Kelly is one of the biggest artists in the world right now, and his latest album is pop punk, and it features frickin' Travis Barker. Billie Eilish doesn't use guitars, but her tunes are heavy as hell and Poppy is mixing down-tuned riffs with squeaky clean vocal tones, and she's just been nominated for a Grammy. And just go and check out Jerris Johnson. He's channeling everything you can love and hate about rock from the last 30 years, and churning out some of the freshest music you can hear. This is evidence that, far from being dead, rock is just evolving into something we never could have expected, and I honestly think it's only a matter of time before the world takes notice. 
And lastly, if you really think rock is dead, then you need to check out the underground because that is the one area where bands like the UK's Hands Off Gretel, India's Bloody Wood, and Germany's Eat Soul, amongst many, many more, are keeping the genre alive and taking it in marvellous directions. Or you can keep listening to the ramblings of Gene Simmons, a megalomaniacal multi-millionaire so moronic he actually tried to copyright the devil horns and ended up accidentally filing a patent for I love you in American Sign Language. Speaking of which, I do love you. Peace out.